Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so today we are doing a reading for you for July 2024. I was about to say 2029. <laughs> I'm a little ahead of myself. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope life has been treating you well. And let's see what is in store for you for July 2024 for the sign of Aries. Oh, okay, I feel that card needs to come out. But... Yeah, so by the way, I like to use the cards popping out because for me, it's just how I've liked to. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How I like to read lately. <laughs> I think it's the pink that's giving me a lot of energy today because I'm wearing pink. <laughs> see you all right okay so um there is light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief of, re of relief <laughs> and make new plans relocation or travel here's the thing this could be a part of what's going on for you, my beautiful Aries. But what I'm actually getting here is that some of you have left a friendship or some kind of romantic relationship. This could even be family. So there's a level of breakup, if you like. I'm feeling like some kind of breakup, some sort of big emotional. Um, you went through some like big waves of emotion, basically. It's been a bit of a tough breakup, a, a tough division. This could also be, by the way, a relocation. So you have to leave one place and you have to move into another place, or it could also be a job. So you were very attached to this job and you've had to make this decision that you need to basically sail to something new. Um, and it's been a big emotional turmoil for you. It hasn't been an easy decision. It hasn't been an easy process or breakup, whichever one it is. And it's caused a lot of heartache for you um but you know it's literally saying here there is light at the end of the tunnel and here is why the lover's card so this is saying that make a choice from your heart deeply emotional commitment the power of love so this can also mean there's a few things coming through so a few things are if you haven't made the decision and you're still in limbo about it, trust yourself, trust your heart, trust why you're making this decision and don't look back because there is going to be something beautiful for you in the end. Um, but this is also reaffirming that, yes, there will be a new relationship coming soon. Yes, there will be a new job. Yes, there will be a new um, home. Um, there is some kind of union, some kind of getting together, some some kind of healing throughout this decision. Something better is waiting for you. And I love this card. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities of happiness. Search for the silver lining. Okay, so there is a reason why you need to make this decision. There is a reason why this happened. This is not an accident. It had to happen because there is something better waiting for you. There is more opportunities and you know this. You know there is something much, much that's been missing. Something that you know that you deserve. So whether it's a job, for instance, you know you deserve a better, uh, more pay or a job that you actually like to go to. If it's a relationship, as much as you might have loved this person, there were things that just didn't work out. There were things that obviously were creating issues between you two. If it's a family member, maybe it's just time for a little break. You know, maybe it's just time to be apart for a minute you know, do the healing separately and then maybe come back together because maybe sometimes we need the separation in order to find ourselves again to then come back together. So whatever this thing is <laughs> that you had to let go of, um, sometimes I can't find the words, but I'm sure you're with me here. Um, there's a reason for that, okay? And deep down, you know that you need it. You know it's necessary and of course, we always have that fear that it's not going to work out. We think of the worst case scenario. We just think it's not going to work out for us, but it will. And the cards are just reassuring this. Now, I haven't used tarot, by the way, in a very long time. I tend to use oracle cards just because I prefer them, but I'm getting a calling today to use my tarot cards. So let's just see. All right. I heard you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, usually the upside down, but I'm not going to do the upside down today. Uh, so the sun card, okay? 
This is once again, just reassuring you that yes, everything is going to work out. Um, it's not going to be as smooth as you'd like to think. Um, in the sense of, yeah, of course, there's going to be some challenges along the way. Of course, it's going to it's going to be tough at times. And I'm just seeing once again, conflict here, some level of conflict going on and even a level of somebody being blind to the situation, somebody not seeing that really there is an out. OK, um, this doesn't have to be you necessarily. This can also be the person involved or the situation or the job or whatever it may be. They're just not seeing your value. They're just not seeing the opportunity that you're seeing. They're just not on the same page as you. And so this has created this conflict. And um, once again, I'm getting this feeling that it wasn't just very it wasn't a very pleasant situation. It wasn't an easy one. It took a lot of emotions to get through it. Um, so let's see. Okay, what else the cards have to say? You're on the first one of the list, so I don't open the cards. I just kind of let them uh, in the box. But let's see what else. Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, the emperor. Okay. Nice. Oh, gosh. All right. So... This is amazing. Okay, so the emperor. This has to do with being in charge, taking charge, masculine energy, okay? Being direct, making the decision. This is something that you decided to do. This is something that you decided to take action. You had to step up and be the leader. You had to step up and be the bigger person here. It took a lot of strength. You know, people don't understand what it takes to be a leader. And oftentimes there's a lot of loneliness involved. There's a lot of solitude. There's a lot of... Uh, bravery involved when it comes to being a leader because no you can't ask anybody else for advice right you have to make that decision for yourself um so you are stepping up and you're stepping into your leadership right now and that's why you may be feeling a little alone and it's a little scary but don't be scared because you own your power Okay, and you're taking your power back right now. So you felt probably at some point that somebody took your power away or that you weren't in connection to who you really were, that you weren't really being yourself or being in alignment with um, your essence, who you are. And it required you to step up, to make this decision, to take charge, to say no more. I'm not putting up with this anymore. And you took this leap of faith and I promise you it's going to, it's going to, pay off because the next card is follow your dreams. So for instance, if this is to do with a job, you know, you're really just taking this leap of faith and saying, hey, I have to go there. I have to do this for myself. At the end of the day, guys, this is going to sound really sad and extreme, but we only have one life, you know, that we remember anyway, I think. But you know, and I think deep down, this is the, this is something that you're feeling. This is something that you're sensing. There's some sort of calling. There's some sort of need. There's some sort of like unfulfilled desire that you're trying to meet. And so it required you to do this. It required you to make this break or to take this leap of faith. But once again, the cards are just reassuring you that this is going to work out for you. And it's, it's not going to be as smooth of a journey. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because, of course, anything with change or anything, um, there's going to be the bumps bumps along the way, but it will pay off. There will be um, a reward, if you like. I'm just going to ask these cards to give us confirmation on this journey, on this decision. Yeah. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wiser beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with your challenge. So what I'm also getting here is also to do with the emperor, right? So you are evolving. You are making this decision, which is really aligning you with your intuition, with your inner knowingness, your inner compass. And this is part of the reward that's happening. You are actually becoming more yourself, more empowered, more true to who you are. And that is the biggest gift that you can possibly get. Now, the law of mirroring states, whatever is happening on the inside, is it's going to manifest on the outside. So you doing this will eventually manifest on the outside and things will come back to you that reflect this decision. And of course, it will be a great decision because you did this in alignment with who you really are. Whew. 
love it. Very cool. Good for you, Aries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope this uh, reading was helpful. Leave a comment below if this resonated with you. I love to hear all your comments and all your opinions because it makes my day, basically, for a selfish reason. Um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.